Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to ma be making the best ever tofu scramble. So here in this saute pan, I'm putting a little bit of water and I have it on high heat to get the water going. This is a no oil recipe and it's fantastic, so don't worry. You won't be missing the oil. So I'm chopping up two scallions here, two whole scallions with the greens and everything attached. Um, you go ahead and chop that up and do it here and this recipe came about because as you know I'm now plant-based but when I used to eat eggs and all the other things that I ate I really did create really good recipes and I really liked the way that I cooked then becoming plant-based kind of took me out of my element and forced me to be able to create to have to create recipes with new ingredients so the idea came to me <clears throat> because I used to make these really good elaborate um, egg dishes in all different kinds of ways. Oh, look at that. The water's already up to temperature, so I'm going to lower that so it doesn't evaporate before I get these tomatoes in. So I used to make these really great recipes, but then I thought, how can I still be creative and get those flavors that I'm used to eating uh, with this new you know, plant-based lifestyle and still have it be satisfying and not feel that I'm missing anything, which I really don't feel like I'm missing anything in this recipe or in general with this way of eating, but it's fun to be able to continue being creative with recipes as I used to be, um, and that's why I wanted to develop something along the lines of this. So now here, if you could see, I'm chopping up tomatoes. These are uh, tomatoes that I grew in my garden, but feel free to use any tomatoes that you want. Just make sure that you're using a flavorful tomato because you know, I'm sure this has happened to you. You buy a tomato um, at the grocery store and <clears throat> it just is not flavorful. It's more spongy, has no flavor, and not juicy at all, and it's kind of gross. So try to get organic tomatoes if you can, or if organic's not in your budget, grow some tomatoes. They're not hard. I, I, do the, I did them myself this year, um, and they're producing a lot of tomatoes. I'm proud. It's the first year I've planted anything on my own. Um, and I got a variety of these like yellow heirloom, mini heirloom tomatoes, as well as a bunch of these kinds. And then also there I have cherry tomatoes, and I grew some big, uh, air, the bigger heirloom tomatoes or beefsteak tomatoes, whatever they're called, and those aren't ready yet. They're green, but they're still developing. So hopefully I'll get some good recipes with those. And these tomatoes that you grow on your own just taste so much better, even better than obviously organic from the store. Nothing compares to homegrown um, fruit and vegetables from your own garden. I guess it's the same with home cooking. Restaurant restaurant food just doesn't compare to what you can make at home. <clears throat> and the best part is you know the quality, you know what goes into your food, whether you're growing your herbs and vegetables and fruit or cooking at home, you know exactly what's in your food, you know you control all the ingredients and you can make it as clean as you want it to be and feel both satisfied and healthy after cooking your own meal at home. Okay, so these are all the tomatoes and I love the colors, the yellow, the red, the oranges. <clears throat> That's all in here now, cooking down. It smells really great already, it's just scallions and tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna get the sea salt because I do wanna extract flavors out of that. So I am using sea salt, not iodized salt for this. Um, you can use anything you want. I just like the texture of this sea salt, just like that. I'm gonna dump that in and use use salt to taste however you want to. Um, you would think I should take it out of this box and put it in thing, but nah. I'll just keep it in the bag, in the box. <laughs> okay, so now that that's happening, I'm going to add the other seasonings that I used in this recipe. Let me get the scallions off of the knife. Okay, so in this recipe, I'm putting in garlic powder. You could use fresh garlic if you want. That's up to you, but I'm not doing that. 
um, I'm also using some turmeric, which will get um, the yellow color that normally is in eggs, but obviously we're using tofu for the recipe, so it won't be yellow. And plus, turmeric has a lot of anti-inflammatory uh, properties and anti-cancer properties. And in order to kick up the effect of the absorption of the turmeric, you just want to hit it with black pepper. So this is rainbow peppercorns, which has pretty much black, I think, black, white, and red peppercorns in there. But use black pepper, use whatever you want. Just putting some of that in there. And then the last ingredient I use is oregano, dried oregano, to taste. What I used to do um, when I was eating eggs, I would make this this, this uh, mixture of spices and it would make like my eggs taste kind of like similar to pizza flavor. So I'd use, you know, eggs and then Parmesan cheese, eggs, Parmesan cheese, red pepper flakes. I don't have red pepper flakes, otherwise I would have used it here. Red pepper flakes, oregano, garlic powder, salt. And it would really be really good and um, taste like, kind of like a pizza topping. But you could do the same thing without eggs and it will still be the same thing, obviously without the Parmesan cheese, which I'm not adding here. Okay, so now this is cooking down. Once this is cooked down, you could see like, it's starting to get a little saucy on the tomatoes and all that. The flavors are developing, you could smell that, the spices that have heated up. Then for your to scramble part of the situation, I'm using this. It is seriously by far the best tofu that I've ever tried. It's the Trader Joe's Organic Sprouted Extra Firm Tofu. It's delicious. I can eat it right out of the package. I don't know who I am that I've changed so much that I could eat tofu out of a package and really enjoy it. But that's, I don't know, my, my um, taste buds must have changed or something. But either way, it really, really is good. I'm not even kidding. Um, and you would think I'm a spokesperson for Trader Joe's, but I'm not. They're just getting free advertisement from me. I just ate a piece of it, literally, right off of that. Th that's how good it is, in my opinion. This is what it looks like. You have two options here. You could crumble it in, into here with your hands and make it look like an actual like scrambled eggs. Or what I do is I actually, I'll show you here, I actually just cut it into slices. And and then I cut it into slight. My niece is knocking at the door. Well, I'm meeting you, boss, Connie. My niece is knocking, and of course, she doesn't know I'm video, you know, filming. But it is what it is. Part of life. <laughs> okay. So now that this is all cut up, let me show you. Cut up like that. I'm throwing it into this mixture which it could be a scramble it could look like cubed tofu it really doesn't matter you could scramble it with your teeth when you eat it okay and then you're going to mix it in here and you could see like with this um, wooden spoon i can just break it down a little bit more oops lost one i could break it down a little bit more and make it more scrambled like in texture and all of that good stuff. So just add that to this. And then what you wanna do, because the tofu is cold, it was in the refrigerator, you want to cook this until the tofu is heated through all the way. And other than that, you are good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna let that, now that that's thoroughly mixed in, I'm gonna let that come to temperature. And I'm gonna show you one other thing. So, I made this recipe um, a couple of days ago and I did post it on my social media and I took a picture of it. I was super proud. It was the first time I was making tofu scramble and of course I didn't want to video it on my first attempt but now that I've done that and it's, it was successful and actually tasty, I wanted to share that with everybody. Whether you're plant-based or not, I think it's worth a try. And obviously if you eat eggs, then you could try the same recipe and just use eggs instead of the tofu. It is your whatever you want to do. And also with the spices and the added 
you know, the added ingredients like the scallion and the, um, and the uh, tomatoes, you could add or subtract any vegetables that you want. This is just a baseline recipe, as most of my recipes are, except for like traditional Persian stews or something like that. This is a baseline um, for you to get creative in your own kitchen. I'm gonna attempt an avocado rose. I did one when I did the picture for the last tofu scramble, and it wasn't exactly a rose. It came out to be um, more like an avocado swirl. But then I thought if I cut it this way instead of this way like I did last time, it might come out right. So let's see. You have to cut it very thinly. Make sure they stay in line. Maybe it won't work right now. The pressure of being on camera for this avocado is a little too much. We'll see. We'll do the best we can. We'll do the best I can. Okay. Okay, so you cut it up very, very finely. And then take away the strays <laughs> or eat them. Okay, so you see this here? Can you see? Okay. Then you push this out and then make that turn them into a line. It's, this is a sad attempt, but it is going to have to do. Okay, so once you push them out, you kind of just bring them around and start swirling it. Okay, not bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> okay, well, there's something. It's not exactly, I'll have to keep practicing that, but it's something to decorate your eggs with once they're done. And by eggs, I mean tofu scramble, or if you're using eggs, then I mean eggs. Okay, so now we'll give this another mix through. And you can see it's heating up. You see the steam? It's getting nice and incorporated. It's pretty much heated through. Yummy. It's really yummy, guys. I already ate this once before. So I'm telling you from experience. Made a little mess, so I'll clean up after. Okay, so now that this is all done, I'm going to plate it, and then I'll show you the last touches. So here is the final look of it. I'll turn off the stove. Okay, so I'm gonna plate this. You could share this. You could serve this on toast. You could serve this in a wrap or, or eat it as is. Whatever, However you eat your eggs, you could eat it just like that. Um, that's up to you totally okay so now that's there and then I'm going to attempt oh my god I just tasted the wooden spoon really good okay so then you could put your avocado stuff on there and see it doesn't matter really how it ends up looking because it's going to taste good there and then I'll garnish with some cilantro that I'll chop right here. Garnish with any herbs you want. Don't garnish with herbs, whatever you want to do. I'll just put that in here. Woo! And then the last thing I like to do, and this adds really good flavor, if you've never tried it before, it is a must try, is this seasoning right here. Everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. I do a little sprinkle on the avocado. And that is it. Serve this with hot sauce or ketchup for you people who eat ketchup with your eggs. This is the bomb hot sauce. I'm also an unofficial spokesperson for it. So I'll just sprinkle some of that on my tofu scramble. And that's it. Breakfast is served. And this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you try it. And if you do, let me know how you liked it and how it turned out. Have a great day, guys. See you next time. Bye.